So the two biggest keys to weight loss are to eat less and to move more. And in today's video, I'm gonna cover the first of the two. I'm gonna help you eat less by giving you the top five most filling foods for weight loss. So um, let's get into the video. So guys, before we get into the video, my name is Mr. Fitness, the body transformation specialist. And if this is your first time here, I wanna welcome you. But if you've been here before, welcome back. On my channel, I talk a lot about weight loss. A lot about weight loss. But I also talk about a lot of other things related to weight loss. So if you're interested in finding out the best information on how you can lose the most amount of weight the quickest, then you'll definitely want to consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell notification so you never ever miss another upload. Now with that being said, and that out of the way, let's get into the video. So the first food on my list of the top most filling foods for weight loss is Greek yogurt. So I gotta admit, when I first started eating Greek yogurt, it was kind of hard to get used to. It was much thicker than regular yogurt and the taste was just, uh, for me it was an acquired taste. Like it wasn't something that I immediately uh, was drawn to. But one thing I did notice is that after eating Greek yogurt, I was definitely much more full than after eating regular yogurt. And one of the main reasons, and you probably already know this from eating Greek yogurt if you've eaten it, is that it has much more protein than regular yogurt. But it's also, as I already stated, much more thicker. And that's the primary reason why Greek yogurt is much more filling. And here's a tip for you. After your workout, Greek yogurt is great simply because of the extra protein, but you also don't want to be eating a lot of crap after your workout. So because it's more filling, it's going to give you that extra protein and prevent you from eating all the excess stuff, the excess sugar and all that crap. In one study, women consumed a 160 calorie yogurt that was either low, moderate or high protein. And those who ate the high protein Greek yogurt said they were less hungry, they were more full, and they ate less for dinner. The second of my most filling foods for weight loss is vegetables. So besides vegetables being filled with nutrition, they're also high volume, low calorie foods, which simply means you can eat more of them and not gain any weight. And if you missed my video on calorie density and how you can use calorie density to lose more weight, your secret weapon, then click the card somewhere up here or go down below in the description and click the link to that video. Now, another thing that vegetables are great at is adding a lot of water. See, drinking water is not the only way that you can get water and prevent things like dehydration. You can also get a lot of water from eating water-dense foods like most vegetables. And what that extra water does, it adds a lot of bulk to your diet, which makes you feel full. And one study found that people who ate a large salad prior to eating a meal of pasta actually felt fuller and ate less pasta. So I guess that means eat a big salad before each meal of pasta. Or if you wanna lose weight, try to skip the pasta altogether. All right, so the third food on my most filling foods for weight loss is beans. You remember that song as a kid, or at least when I was a kid, it goes, beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... I don't know about you, but I always found that that song was very true but now as an adult, I realize why. It's because of all the extra fiber and protein in the beans. One study even found that people felt 31% more full after eating beans than they did after eating bread or pasta. But one word of caution, if you're not used to eating beans, go slow on the beans because you might lose a few friends from all these beans, if you know what I mean. The fourth food on my list of the most filling foods for weight loss is quinoa. You know, there was a long time that I didn't even know how to pronounce that word, and I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. So let me know down below in the comments if I'm actually saying that right. So if you're not familiar with quinoa, quinoa is actually a seed that's packed with protein. And it's actually one of the few non-meat complete protein sources. And that's pretty important, and here's why. 
So we've got essential proteins or essential amino acids, and we've also got non-essential amino acids. So a non-essential amino acid is an amino acid that we can make, we can manufacture within our bodies. But an essential amino acid is one that we can't and we need to actually take it in from food. So a complete protein is one that contains all the essential and non-essential amino acids. And normally when we think about uh, complete proteins, we normally think about meat because meats are generally the foods that contain all of the amino acids. But quinoa is the exception to the rule. And the icing on the cake with quinoa is that it's also much higher in fiber than most grain foods. And the fifth and final food on my list of the most filling foods for weight loss is nuts. My absolute favorite nut is the cashew. What about you? Leave your favorite nut down below in the comment and let's see how many people agree with you. So the main thing that makes nuts, and this applies to most nuts, the main thing that makes them really, really filling is that they're much higher in healthy fats as well as protein. And one study actually found that chewing nuts 40 times actually increased the feeling of fullness by up to five times compared to those who only chewed their nuts 10 to 25 times before swallowing. I'm sorry y'all if y'all caught that, but that just sounded really crazy. Chewing nuts and, and that just sounded crazy. So excuse me for a second. So there you have it guys, the five most filling foods for weight loss. Question, which of these foods are you currently eating and which do you plan on adding to your diet? And if you're currently eating any of these foods, do you eat enough of them to feel full? Do you currently feel full from eating those foods? Go ahead and leave your answers down below in the comments so we can continue the discussion. Well guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And if you did get something out of it, make sure you share this video with somebody that you think might also benefit from it. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you ding that bell notification so you never ever miss another video that I upload. Well, guys, this is Mr. Fitness, the body transformation specialist, signing off. And as always, where there's a will, there's a way. And I hope you have another amazingly, fantastically awesome day. Till next time.